Nanjing has been the capital of no less than 10 ruling dynasties over the ages since the city was founded by Fan Li, a famous statesman from Yue Kingdom in the spring and autumn period. Many imperial courts chose Nanjing as their home. In 1356, after the first Ming Emperor Hun Wu led his armies into the city, he decided to make Nanjing the capital of his new empire, and began to build palaces and walls in the city. The city wall built under Emperor Hun Wu winds and twists around the city perimeter, breaking with the convention of square-shaped city wall constructions held since the Han and Tang dynasties. Work on the Ming city wall started in 1366. It took a total of 280,000 laborers and 27 years to complete, and was comprised of four walls, the palace wall the imperial wall, the inner city wall, and the outer city wall. The city wall takes advantage of Nanjing's geographical features for defense. The Qinghai River acts as a natural moat to the south, the Purple Mountain guards the east, and Swan Wu Lake is a barrier to the north, forming a three-sided natural fortress. The city wall was designed to resist any siege weapon of the time. From its height and thickness to construction materials and key defensive features, scholars believe the city wall was designed to reflect the Southern Dipper and the Big Dipper constellations. The Southern Dipper has six stars represented by six gates, while the seven stars of the Big Dipper also correspond to seven gates along the wall. Since the Qin, China's first imperial dynasty, rulers built capital cities to reflect the heavens. Different buildings represented different stars in the sky, hoping to achieve unity between the order of the heavens and their earthly rule. The materials used in Nanjing's ancient city wall also reflect the planning and ideas behind the city. Walls around the imperial palace are built with city bricks while those of the common people's living quarters are built with stone. In the Ming Dynasty, only the imperial family could use special city bricks. The construction of the Ming city wall adhered to the system of responsibility to the people, adopted by the Hanwu Emperor. Inscriptions can be found carved into many city bricks, listing the names of the supervisors, brickmakers, and other relevant personnel, as well as the firing date and administrative jurisdiction where it was made. In 1402, Zudi, the Prince of Yan attacked Nanjing. Emperor Jianwin ordered that the palace be burned down, leaving only ruins. The city wall has now existed for over six centuries.
Over that time, Nanjing has witnessed dramatic change and historical events, all playing out within the embrace of this imposing wall that continues to ring the city to this day.